In 2011, an anonymous Canadian man fractured his penis while having sex with his wife. As if that indignity wasn't enough, surgery to correct the injury allegedly left him uh, with a penis that was about an inch shorter than it was before. This is from Gawker, because now the man is fighting the hospital. He wants uh, about $150,000, claiming negligence and indescribable anguish. By his lawsuit's account, the man went to the hospital after his injury and was told by a nurse and, and an off-site urologist that it wouldn't require any surgery. When he still couldn't have sex after three months, he came back in for an operation. Now, um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with penile fractures, but just in case you're not, here's how it's described. A fracture can occur when there is a trauma to the erect penis. If it is bent suddenly or forcefully while engorged, the trauma may rupture the lining of one of the two cylinders in the penis responsible for erections. The injury is often accompanied by an audible cracking sound, then ah. dark bruising as blood escapes from the cylinder. Ah, okay, and so there's more to this story. Timber. This guy is a paraplegic, right. no use of his legs, and says, this has caused a greater impact on my life than when I lost the use of my legs. Whoa. Okay, so there's a lot I sympathize with there. You know, he still, he could still, he couldn't use his legs, but he could use that. Yeah. Now he can't use that anymore. Yeah. And you know your life's taking a bad turn when you break your dick, right? And so I feel terrible about that. And we, they're going to have to figure out in court if they really told him there was no surgery needed. Right. He wakes up and all of a sudden he's missing an inch, right? right? Um, but it seems like, I mean, he got himself into that situation. Yeah, don't break your dick. Right? So, and they, it's just, there's no way of knowing. Because if the fact pattern is, if the doctors can prove, what are you talking about? Now, we didn't take off an yeah. inch. We had to fix it because it was broken, right? right? Then I'm with the doctors. Right. If it turns out, they really told him, no, no, don't worry, you don't need surgery. He gets knocked out, wakes up, and they did surgery when he didn't necessarily want it, right. and it's shorter. Well, then I'd be pissed, too. But what about this? Just hypothetically, what if it was shorter, but it worked? Mm -hmm. Would he be entitled to any money? Mm. Well, you would hope that they would have been clear about that. <laughs> okay. But, like, but in the end, you got to have it working. Yeah. I mean, you could be the longest dude in the world, yeah. and if it isn't working, it doesn't really matter much, There's right? Hangs there. Yeah, and so... You know, look, dude's got a lot of issues, but he's got to work through them. But, and, and to be fair to him, though, it was a very reasonable lawsuit. Like in America... They, I was just about to say that. Yeah, they would have sued for like $20 million, yeah, 150, right? 150, please. You lose an inch off my penis? <laughs> Pay me, right? In the U.S., <laughs> they'd been like billions of dollars yeah. in law. The guy asked for $142,000. Yeah. You know what? Do the guy a solid. Give it to him anyway. <laughs> right or wrong. I'm totally with you. That was the, that was what I thought made this story so heroic or Canadian. Like, oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to do this. Like, all of a sudden, he's uh, what's his name from? Uh, he's Mike Myers. One million dollars. Like, uh, sir, actually, that's not that much anymore. You've been frozen for a long time. <laughs> right. like, this is just not a lot of money. So just give the poor broken man his money. In this case, literally. Yeah. He won't be as broke anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make his bank account a little less flaccid. <laughs> Give the guy a lift. We did. Be a stand-up guy. Yeah.